All right, so let's have a little color correction practice with uh, lesson five. Go ahead and open up an image called windowbox.psd to work with. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna straighten this image. Uh, go ahead and locate the ruler tool. Um, it's underneath the eyedropper tool on your tool uh, panel. And remember the way the this ruler tool works is you use your uh, mouse to click on the upper left corner, pull and drag to the right corner, creating a nice uh, a nice line along the top of the image, and then simply hit straighten layer at the top of your software. And then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to crop this image uh, to a specific size and resolution. So let's grab our crop tool. Um, you can locate it in your toolbar or you can hit C. And from the tool, uh, from the crop tool options, I want you to select width times height times resolution. I want you to put in two inches by three inches at 200 resolution. So you might need to type these numbers in. And what this does is it gives you a, a box that's going to keep those ratios. So let's click and drag these different pull bars and crop out all the white um, parts of this picture. And again, it's keeping the ratio, which is really cool. And you can click in the center. And then once you're satisfied with how you've cropped it, you can either hit this check box, this check um, mark at the top, or you can just hit return on your keyboard to confirm the transformation. Um, so let's go really quick to double check we got this to image, image size, and you'll see we've got a nice two inch width by three height by 200 resolution picture. So the next thing we're going to do in this color correction is we're going to start by adjusting the levels. So let's go to, oh, sorry, before we do that, let's go ahead and create a duplicate of our background. Um, so I've got my, my layer, I'll call this original. And I'm gonna do a Command J really quick on my keyboard to duplicate my original layer. And I'm gonna call this color uh, corrected. So this is the fun part, you can compare it at the end. So I'm working on color corrected. So let's adjust the levels first. Let's go to um, image, adjustment, levels. I remember earlier we practiced using these different eyedroppers where we sampled the black and the white. Um, so you can do it that way. So if you were to sample the black, you might sample maybe the shadow. And if you were to do the lights, you might sample the window, which is cool. Um, but let's see, I'm going to cancel this and do it again. But I also want you to um, practice using the sliders too. So instead of the eyedroppers, let's go ahead and adjust the black triangle, which is this one. So we've got black, midtones, and lights. Let's adjust the black um, and move it to the right to about 18. Uh, let's adjust our midtones to about 1.3 this way. You can kind of see how it's changing. And then let's adjust our highlights by moving them to the left to about 232. So just two different ways that you can adjust your levels. You can either use the eyedroppers um, or you can, you can do the sliders. So go ahead and click OK. So you've got 18, about 1.3 uh, for midtones, and you've got about 232 for your highlights. Click OK. Next thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna quickly remove the color cast and a really fast way to do this is just go up to image, auto color. Brought a little bit of, brought a little bit of brightness out in that picture. Next, we're gonna replace the colors in an image. So we're gonna go ahead and change uh, the color of this house from blue to kind of a teal color um, by using the replace color option. So let's go ahead and grab our marquee tool rectangular marquee. Let's drag, uh, make a selection around the blue part of the house. And it's okay if you have some of the window panes in the selection. 
And the next thing we're going to do is go up to Image, Adjustments, Replace Color. Go ahead and select Image in the radio bar so you can see, see your selection. Use the eyedropper tool to grab the blue of the house. You can see I have the blue selected. And then let's go ahead and change down in the lower part of this dialog box, the hue, saturation, and lightness. So let's change our hue to negative 40. Let's change our saturation to negative 45. And let's change our lightness, actually keep it as is. So we've gone from blue to teal. You can see that it's only replaced the color of the blue that we selected. And click OK. And go ahead and deselect, do a Command D to deselect our selection. Uh, next, we're going to adjust and brighten up these curtains, make them a little bit whiter. And we're going to do that using the Dodge tool. So the Dodge tool is the little lollipop looking tool here. You can hit O on your keyboard, grab Dodge, go up to your Dodge tool options at the top of your um, interface, and let's grab a nice Feather 27 pixel brush, 0% hardness. Make sure your range is at highlights because we want to add highlights and keep your exposure at 15%, and then use vertical strokes to brighten up these curtains. Give them a little, little punch there. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna use the sponge tool, um, which is located underneath the dodge tool. Uh, the sponge tool is really fun. It, it gives you the ability to uh, select and um, color correct certain parts of an image. And what we're going to use the sponge tool is to brighten up these red flowers a little bit. So go ahead and grab your sponge. Um, and we're going to use it to saturate the picture. So go up to your preferences. Make sure you have mode, saturate. You can also desaturate, saturate, but we're going to saturate. Keep your flow at 90%. And go ahead and just click on the flowers and bring out the bring out the redness. They're a little dull. Make them a little brighter. So that so keep that sponge tool in your back pocket. It's a fun it's a fun tool to use to desaturate or saturate parts of an image. And then, of course, the last step after you color correct, you crop in, you straighten, is you want to use a, a filter to sharpen your whole picture. Um, so let's go ahead and go up to filter, sharpen, and let's use the unsharp mask again. We're going to sharpen it about 70%, 75%. Keep your radius at one pixel and keep your threshold at zero. We're just going to keep it at one pixel. Uh, remember, you can always look at your preview button to see how much it's sharpening, if you think it's too much. And go ahead and click OK. And then go ahead and uh, review and compare your color corrected layer uh, with your original background layer by hiding the visibility icon. You can see it's a, it's a nice big difference.